Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Stealth, and uh, this is my first like do-it-yourself video. Um, this is for anybody who sees this. Your Cobalt forums, Facebook friends, whatever. Uh, I'm showing you here on my uh, Cobalt the uh, simplest uh, application to put on your car to increase miles per gallon, and as well as a little horsepower. Now this goes for about retails about $39.99 to $60, and all it is is just a K&N drop drop-in replacement filter. And this has got to be the easiest bolt-on. All right, I would, I wouldn't call it a bolt-on because you're not really bolting anything up. Um, simple for you guys with the uh, Cobalt LTLS, also the HHR LS and the LT models. Your engine should be set just like mine, a simple 2.2 liter. And this is going to be the easiest thing you can do and takes all of a matter of about three minutes. Okay, once you find your air box, that's around here, you find it by the mass airflow sensor. First thing you're going to do is pop out your two thumb brakes. So you want on top, one on the left. Now you notice there's going to be two brackets up here on the top and there's one at the bottom. To get that out, simply just pull it towards you and then up. Okay, I should be able to move this around just a little bit. You want to take out your stock air filter. That's what it looks like. Well, this is a new one, so say goodbye to a new one. You go open up your K&N filter air box. It should be in plastic wrapping, but it should be designed just like it. Now only drops in one way. The little uh, filaments, they go downward because they're going to attract, uh, repel all the dirt and stuff. You want to take a look in your air box, make sure there's no uh, leaves and grime and all that stuff. You can use a vacuum cleaner to get it out. You just simply uh, follow the pattern, drop it right in, line it back up with clamps, and then run your thumb brakes back on there. There you go. Uh, that's going to be the easiest. Uh, application or performance you can put onto this vehicle or any other vehicle. It works on uh, thousands of other vehicles K&N has gone with. And they do increase miles per gallon. They do increase just a little more power because of better airflow, so better air fuel mixture to the computer and the combustion chamber. All right, for you guys on uh, Chevy Cobalt forums that are w wondering about how to uh, get, we'll look down here, The uh, there's an air box extension piece that goes down here. It's called the uh, cold air box. Uh, what it is is like a resonator. It quiets out all the sound. And some of you guys that are trying to get it out and want to see how big it really looks. If you guys that want to run a cold air intake, this is what you're going to be need pull up to pull out. It's about this big. And really all this does is just run air through here. It grabs air from here. gets trapped down in this box and gets trapped up in this little tiny box. And then very little airflow travels up here. Now with you removing this, uh, this may take up to about half an hour because you got to remove your headlight and then the headlight bracket behind it and then loosen up some fender bolts or you can pull it out through the fender well um, or you can remove your whole front bumper which is a lot of pain but you can get it out. Now once you get it there's a clip on the back section uh, like kind of like one of these uh, flathead clips. There's a 10 millimeter bolt up here and then once you get that off you guys simply slide Oh, not simply, but it's very rough. You got to pull it out of this. Hey, what's up? This is part two again of stealth video. Uh, I'll show you guys, uh, Dave's whatever. Um, with the cane in, added in with the uh, the cold air box drop, uh, cold air box delete, or they call it the uh, resonator delete. So you guys get to see uh, the difference between the two from the one that saw my video beforehand. And like I said, this increases more miles per gallon than it does power. So we're going to take this out. Just for a little spin. Hopefully no cars come around. Now I roll down the window so you guys can hear the difference in power. Or the sound, engine sound. It has a little bit of uh, throat sound, uh, maybe a little high end, uh, nothing really significantly different, but just as far as like um, quality of air being traveled through, it's a lot better. So it's going to uh, definitely pick up on the low end torque just a tad and a little bit on the high end from when it needs the most air. So like I said, um, let's find a spot to turn it around. You can hear it when it starts to grab probably around 2500 RPMs when you press the throttle down. Uh, 
Oh, there's a school right there, so I don't want to piss off the teachers trying to... We'll just do a turnaround real quick. Oops, do not enter. You know what I just did? <laughs> Whoops. It's hard trying to move this camera while driving a stick shift in my hand. It's hard to find a straightaway here in North Carolina because all these roads are curvy. Come on, dude. Alright, well there you go, uh, video demo. Alright, uh, see y'all later.